if the banks lived by their own advice, which is save money, the banks would be losing money. When you go and deposit $1,000 in the bank, that cash that you deposited is a liability for the bank. An asset is something that puts money in your pocket. A liability is something that takes money away from your pocket. So when the bank has your cash, it's a liability for them. They want to get rid of it as fast as possible. And the way they do that is by lending it out because it's an investment for the bank. They don't want to hold on to cash, but they want you to save your money. You want you to give them cash. Right. And just leave it there. Leave it there. And what's happening to your cash while it's there? It's losing value to inflation each and every day. Every day that you keep your cash in the bank, you're becoming poorer each and every day. Now, it's funny. I made a video on this in 2016. It was my first video to go viral. It was called, you're guaranteed to go broke if you do this. And I was talking about inflation at 2 to 3%. If you keep your cash in the bank, you're going broke every single day. Now here we are, and now people are starting to realize, wow, this inflation is a real problem. And so now when you keep your cash in the bank, the bank is paying you 0.01%, maybe 0.5% yeah. if you're lucky, and they're turning around lending it for 5%, 6%. And so the bank does not want to keep the cash and savings because it's a liability for them. They want to keep you spending money on their credit card because now they'll get to earn 18 to 25% in interest every time you spend a dollar. Governments want you to be financially uneducated because when you're financially uneducated, guess what? You are an employee and you're a consumer. Who pays the highest taxes? Employees and consumers. Everybody knows that rich people don't pay taxes. It makes people angry, but a lot of times we don't understand why. Right. And we get angry at the wrong things and the wrong reasons. Yeah, but the more you make as a business owner, until you're like uber rich, I feel like, you're spending a lot of taxes. You are, and, and, and you know what, and there's a lot of things that you can do right. legally to pay less money in taxes, and there's different ways that you can invest your money to pay less money in taxes. So I'll give you a couple examples. Yeah. Well, actually, let's start with this. Tax avoidance and tax evading are two similar words with two very different outcomes. This is one of the first things that you learn in law school. Tax evading is illegal. Yes. You go to jail. Tax avoiding is legal and then you get hated for doing that. <laughs> and if you learn the IRS code, it's a rule book. Mm -hmm. And the people who understand the rule book are the people who have the money to hire the good accountants and the good attorneys. But you're not an accountant, but have you studied the law? I have studied a lot of law, tax law. Really? What happens is wealthy people will understand how this works, play within that system, and pay little to no money in taxes. What are three things that people who are making half a million and above should be doing to avoid taxes better. So let's start with, uh, let me assume that you have either some sort of your own income, you're a side hustler or you are a business owner. Yes. So if you make half a million dollars, let's assume that's profit. You are taxed on income. So if you take out a salary, that's gonna be taxed. <clears throat> now the question is, what is a tax deduction? Or the better question is, how can you make something a tax deduction? Because anything can be a tax deduction if you know how to make it a deduction. Mm -hmm. So that's the question that you have to ask yourself because if you don't have an income, you don't have any tax. Right. So this is what wealthy people are doing. Thank you so much for watching at Audiobook Academy. I hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing content just like this.